thought maybe I would show you around. They have a lot of new things in Walmart, even though some of their stuff is like out of stock and you can tell that they really need to like stock back up. But anyway, just in case you can't leave the house and you're wondering what's new at Walmart, it's so pretty. I thought you guys might like this. So without further ado, let's get started. These are so good for cooking, like just these little mini spatulas. They're great to have in the kitchen. And they got such cute little colors. They're only $5. That's like such a good deal. And these little flat whisk. Oh, I need some of these. I need one of them actually. These are really good for when you're scrambling eggs. They have red and blue. These are some of the measuring cups that I have. These are like so great for in the kitchen because there's so many different um, sizes of them. So, Pioneer Woman really has come out with a lot of cute things. This is cute. It's a little like storage thing, but it's also a measuring cup. That's really neat. And this is cute. Oh, it's a sifter. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. It's $12.97. Show you guys this. If you're just starting out cooking, this is a really great set. This KitchenAid set. It's got everything you need just to like start out with in the kitchen. It's $39 at Walmart. Just if you're like, I don't know what to get, this is great to just start out with. Oh, that's a pretty cutting board. It's $19. And this is pretty. This actually comes with two and it's 18. And then I love, love the blue and white. That is so pretty. These kitchen scissors are so cute. They have them in blue, the blue set. I love these. How cute. I don't know, I just love all the blue and white. Walmart is kind of picked over right now. Like there's not a lot of stuff. It's not, you know, fully stocked basically. But this brand, I've seen this brand. Um, it's in, it's, I haven't seen it before. Maybe it's been out for a while, but this is so pretty. It's got a gold handle and look at the pan. It's got gold flakes in it. I just thought that was really pretty. And they also have navy in gold. It's just such pretty designs and colors. So, and then also they have Rachel Ray stuff, which is really nice. Like I've always seen her use these spoons where she puts them on the side of the pot and I'm like, that is so cool. So they have I only have two colors right now, and they're $8.97. And then they have these little, um, I guess they're like, they're e EVOO bottles. So for your olive oil to put by your stove, you can just, you know, if you've ever watched Rachel Ray, she kind of has a certain way that she does things. And they also have pots and pan sets, that's nice. And these actually have like more in them. And they're $99. That's not bad at all. See, this is new. I haven't seen this before. Of course, they have the Pioneer Woman. Hmm. I wanted to show you guys this set of cookware. It's $79 and you get this whole set, which is really great. They even have some utensils with it. But this set is by Green Life and it is a healthy ceramic non-stick so it doesn't have all of the toxins in the, you know, in the pots when you cook and stuff like that. And 
I have owned two sets of these and they've lasted me for a long time, but they are so pretty. They're like a mint green color. They also have black, but that is, it's a really good deal for a whole set. So if you guys are looking for something like that, they have them at Walmart and they're really great. I really recommend them. I think this pie pan is so pretty. Our pie dish. really pretty colors and it's only $12.
Okay, this stuff smells amazing. It is like the best shampoo, drugstore shampoo that I have ever used. I actually like it better than even my expensive shampoo I get from Sephora. I mean, it makes your hair smell like a banana pineapple smoothie or something, but oh, it makes it so soft and not frizzy. So if you guys are looking for some shampoo to try, that's a really good one. in town right now my husband's currently fueling the truck so anyway if you guys haven't tried the guava passion fruit from Starbucks oh my gosh it is so good it's got like coconut milk in it and it just it tastes so refreshing it's so hot right now oh and currently right now you have to wear a mask everywhere you go in so this is my mask shout out to all the chief fans anyway i just thought i would tell you guys that you should try it if you haven't all right i'll see you later hey guys so right now i'm making me a pancake my famous pancake a weight watchers pancake oh i gotta get some water i'll be right back it's just a really great breakfast and i use the kodiak's um, buttermilk pancake mix and then I sprinkle just a few of the semi-sweet mini chocolate chips so this comes out to four points for one pancake and it's got protein in it so it does keep you full anyway like I said I've I've done this on my channel before and um, I'm just gonna move you closer so you can see but I'll have the recipe linked down below the video if you want to watch it. But I just put just a tiny little bit of butter in the pan. And then I put my pancake in. And, and I just, I really love making this for breakfast because I feel like that it keeps you full. You know, and let's face it, when we're on a diet, we need things that make us feel full. So... I have a couple of things this week that I wanted to try out. Um, I actually picked up some HelloFresh meals at Target, and I don't know if you've got, you guys have ever heard of them. I've seen people review them on YouTube. Usually they'll get sent the HelloFresh box and they review them and cook them and everything, but I bought these at Target with my own money. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to see if they were any good because sometimes I get really tired of cooking, um, even though I do love to cook, but Let's face it, the last four or five months, we've been cooking at home a lot. We hardly eat out anymore. You know, it's three meals a day cooked at home and sometimes it gets a little bit like, you know, just I just get tired of it. So I found these meals at Target and I thought, you know, I'm gonna give them a shot and see if I like them. They would be nice every once in a while to do just because everything is in the kit already and you just follow the directions and I want to see if they're any good. I'm going to let you know an honest review if they're worth it, if they taste good, um, and we'll see. So, and also I found this at Walmart. I don't know if anybody's tried it before. It's the Danish Creamery's Spreadable Butter with Virgin Coconut Oil. This stuff is really good. I am really loving it. All right, guys. Got my pancake done and I have some fruit on the side. So I usually do like um, bananas, strawberries, whatever I have. And um, this is a four point breakfast. So only four points and it keeps you full for quite a while. 
So I've kind of stopped drinking coffee for a while and I'm on to green tea and it's pretty good actually. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's lunch time right now and I'm about to make some taco salads for lunch. So I'm going to show you how to do those and they're really low in points if you're on Weight Watchers. And also last night we went to my parents place which is out in the country and it's really pretty out there so I thought I would insert a few clips and show you what it's like for fun. So yeah, here they are. back to lunch I'm making taco salads it's really low points and it's easy to make so I'm just um, looking at my leftovers here I've got some leftover meat and some rice that I've cooked up this week and then I've got some sauteed peppers and onions and I also made some homemade pinto beans at the beginning of the week so I just kind of like eat this through the week um, you know, I'll make a salad for lunch. It's really low points when you put it all together. Um, I made this one for my husband, so I put a little bit more cheese on it than I would on mine. But yeah, anyway, so that's it. It's simple and easy. All right, guys, got a six point breakfast. The banana is zero points, bacon is two, and the pancake is four. And then I got my green tea here that I've been drinking every morning. Not too bad. Ba, ba. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's done. <laughs>